Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Here's another video of my stock finds or my car boot sale finds before I uh, get rid of it all down the shop. Nice little selection here guys, a really nice big job lock for you to see. I um, have a boot over here to show you in a minute, but uh, for now I'm going to get on with all the uh, smalls. Now, those of you who saw my video the other day on my window display, um, I told you in that that I had two Beswick horses. Um, they went in with the gypsy cart and all the other horses and figures. Well, this is the first of them, which is the uh, large Beswick, Beswick Shire horse. It's fully stamped with the round back stamp on the uh, belly. So this is the first of the two. Now, I, as you know, I paid £75 for the entire gypsy carriage and the entire, uh, all the horses, all the figures, everything, including the two Beswick horses. So I have to pull as much back off the two Beswick horses as I can. This is the first. This Shire horse is gonna be about 35, maybe 45 pound in the shop, no problem at all. So that's a really good chunk of my money back. A little look for you there. Beautiful condition on it. So that's the first. So that doesn't actually come in with this lot. So as I've already said, I have to try and pull as much back as £75 as I can, but I think with the two horses, I think I'm just about there. Right, so the job lot I'm gonna show you now, guys, is really, really wonderful. Really nice uh, little job lot, and it stands me in a £50 for everything you see. So there's, well, there's loads of pieces here. When I start going through them, you're gonna have a shock of your life um, on how much is here for the £50. And I didn't buy them off public who don't know what they sell and I bought them off another trader. So we we'll start here. We, we have a uh, wonderful little uh, example of a dog. Uh, Spaniel, I believe, looking at the long ears. Now this one is produced by Coopercraft. Has this original label on the bottom. It's hard to tell Coopercraft without the label. So there we have the uh, first. Now Coopercraft isn't one of the big names to collect, but it is still a reasonable name. That dog's going to be between 12 and 15 pounds. Then we come across to the Queen's Corgi, if you like. Uh, this one's produced by Beswick. And this is the large example. They come in all sorts, all sizes. They, everything down to little, you know, two-inch dog. So this is a nice example. It's stamped Beswick on the foot. Good condition. Um, this Beswick Corgi, this size, got to be thirty pound. Oh, it's even got its original label on it, guys. Got to be thirty pound for the Beswick Corgi. So already we're almost at our money back, guys. Then we come across, we have a large version, or I think uh, they were classed as blow-ups. Wade Whimsy blow-ups of Jack and Jill. Now these are actually stamped Wade England on the back, therefore they're the later edition. Um, okay, darling? Yeah. In a minute. All right. Um, the Wade porcelain... Before, it was either 1953 or 1956, can't think what it was, they didn't stamp them Wade England, they just produced them. So the early runs don't actually have any markings on them at all. Um, if you ever out there and you look for Wade and that, and you'd go, well it looks like Wade, but it's no stamp, that's because it's the early ones. The ones that got Wade on them are late 50s and on. However, these are the blow-up versions, Jack and Jill. I haven't looked how much they are online, but I don't see a problem in getting £15 the pair. You know, seven and a half quid a piece is neither here nor there for perfect blow-ups. And they may, they may be more when I do a bit of research. But with the Wade, guys, if it's chipped, don't buy it. Just no point. Next, we have a really unusual camel in uh, brown glaze by Silvac. Pattern number 5230. Now, you see loads of Silvac, but to find a camel is quite unusual so that's quite nice again another 15 pound as you can see this is adding up to be a very good little haul we have a USSR performing bay 
and there we go, it's the mark. USSR is always marked uh, on the underneath, either in red or blue, I believe. But I'm, I only ever have the red. Um, bear like this, can be about £12, £15 again. And we have another bear by USSR, which has got a slightly different variation of the stamp. You can see the stamp around the rim there. So you have two different variations of stamps there straight away. Again, same sort of money, £12-ish. And I believe I have yet another piece of USSR, which is the Panda. And again, we have stamped on the two feet. And again, same sort of money, £12-£15. So already, guys, you're talking 15 and 30s, 45, 50, 60, 75, 80, 90, 100, 105, 110, 120 pound per day. And then we can go halfway through it. Next piece I'm going to show you guys is quite something. Oh, God, do I love it. Now, we have um, a Viking ship. Now, when I saw it, I thought, oh, God, that got to be silver. But it's not. It's silver plate, A1 silver plate by Yeoman. Um, it's not a bad name, it's not the best name in the world, but it's not a bad name. Spectacular Viking ship, and it really has got some fine details. Double sided, obviously, with all the shields up the side. It's got the stand, put it on. The little candlestick holder comes out. Now this, as candlesticks go, or little taper sticks, whatever you want to call it. That is really quite something. I don't envision a problem in getting about £40 for this, guys. £35, £40. It's gorgeous. It's different. That's the key. Different always sells. So, really, really nice bit of silver plate, guys. I love it. Um... <coughs> As you can see, I got loads more. Right, next piece we have here is a uh, mother and baby panda produced by Wade England. This was later than the NatWest Pigs. Um, not even sure if it was the same bank. It's a money box, and it was obviously done, you know, rethinking the NatWest Pigs. Like you had the, um, the five or six NatWest Pigs originally with NatWest Bank, depending on how much money you had in the bank, depending on what pig you had. You started off with the baby, moved up Annabelle, Maxwell, Lady Hillary, Sir Nathaniel, all the way up, uh, doing the cousin and so forth. Um, I can't quite think. I know these were considerably later, another 10 years on or something like that. Uh, but they are produced by Wade. They have got the Nat West um, stopper, but I don't know if that's original or if they've put that in. But it is a Wade England money box. Is that a polar bit? Yes, love. Um, in perfect condition, I get about £15 for these guys. So, the prices are not jumping up and down, but they are really, really good. Next we have a Beswick Owl. It's a smallish owl, about 4 or 5 inches, with a gold back stamp. Um, there we go. You can see the back stamp there in gold, which is always more valuable on the back stamp than the brown back stamp. Nice bears of gal. It's going to be £20, guys. Maybe £25. We have a Wade porcelain hedgehog. Quite a large one, too, guys. The lid comes off. And again, same sort of money. I'm going to be putting £12 on that. The lid comes off to show you. It's a little trinket dish. Maybe £15. £12 or £15. We have another piece of USSR, and I'm not 100% sure on what it is. It looks like some sort of squirrel, or yeah, it looks like a squirrel with a big tail. Maybe wrong, but looks like a squirrel. This one isn't going to be as dear as the others, maybe about £7 or £8 for that one. Um, Next year we have a large piece of Wedgwood England glass. Now this is a polar bear, it's a paperweight or just an animal for display, whichever way you want to look at it. Beautiful crystal, 
uh, Wedgwood glass, 90% of the time is signed on the base. Hopefully you can see that. Perfect condition, again, £20 no problem at all. Right to you then. So we come now to my three favourite pieces of the day. I'm going to start off with some more Wade porcelain, guys. And we have Tom and Jerry. Now, Tom and Jerry in Wade porcelain, I've sold them a hundred times. I usually, or I used to have them boxed. They'd come in a little square box, and you could see Tom and Jerry through the clear front. And I used to get about £75, £85 for Tom and Jerry in the box. Uh, the prices have come down somewhat now, but I still believe there's a £40 uh, earning by there just in Tom and Jerry. Maybe wrong on the price in, but I'll check. But I'm, I'm pretty confident most of my money back today will be just on Tom and Jerry. So I'm really pleased with that. This little piece here is absolutely stunning. It's late Victorian to Edwardian, lacquered brass. It's not a screw in sight, it's all riveted or stud finish. It's, um, it's a replica of a mangle. In full working order, beautiful patina on it, lovely colour to the wood rollers, and it would be for a doll's house. But it is an, an identical replica of a full size. Really, really lovely colour on the brass. Lovely little uh, piece of uh, doll's house furniture. Now, I haven't looked online and I'm not really interested on what uh, they're, they're selling these for online. The last time I've seen something similar to this, they were asking £45. Now I'm going to be going in about 20 to 25 uh, for somebody with a really nice little doll's house. So if, you know, if they have an Edwardian doll's house or nice early doll's house, then these period pieces really do make the difference. You know, somebody's going to be asking 12 or 15 pounds for a, you know, a decent reproduction of a modern one. And this is a nice example. Fully working. Love it. I just think it's so cute. It's, you know, really nice little uh, thing there. So, quirky but gorgeous. And you all know how much I love my glass. Here we have a beautiful Vaseline glass with the purple rim, Jack in the Pulpit vase, absolutely beautiful. Now I've seen these for as much as £110 and in the right light and up against black they really sing, they're really gorgeous. I love Vaseline glass anyway, snap handle to it, lovely shape, lovely colour. Really does work, guys. There you go, give you a little look. Now, again, you're going to be up probably 35, 40 pounds for this little Jack in the Pulpit vase. So, a really nice little find there. Okay, okay guys, and um, last of the smalls is a bit of a souvenir piece. Now, I'm looking at this, and I think this is all mounted in solid silver on the buildings and that. It's Chinese, so I can't read it. It's um, Jinmo Tower, Oriental Pearl Tower, and it looks as if it's um, all done in silver and cut glass. Now we came in with the job lot, obviously for the fifty pounds. It's a really nice um, bit of souvenir wear, if you like. It's just different. Um, so I have no problems whatsoever in banging 12 or 15 pound on that. Uh, somebody's going to fall in love with that, I'm on it. And the best part about it is it just looks, well it looks gorgeous. I would love to see the original towers. Wow, I bet they look spectacular. Anyway, that's the group for 50 pound. As you can see, I'm probably going to get two or 300 pound back for that 50. Nice little job lot of pieces to put in the shop. I'm really pleased. They're small, they're valuable. They're going to pull money, they, then they don't take up too much room on the shelf in the cabinet. So I'm really, really pleased with them. 
Now, as you know, I don't have a lot of clocks, so I've uh, intentionally gone out this week and bought a load. Now, what, what I'm about to show you is... Uh, bear, bear with me a second, guys. It's quite a lot. Now, we have a wall-mounted clock with a rack strike movement. Uh, well, there you go. I was off for time then. <laughs> As you can see, the clock works. Now this clock is produced by the Hamburg American Clock Company. It's German. All right, I don't want to, don't keep going. Oh, it had to be the bloody 12 and all, guys. It couldn't have been just one or two. Stop. There we go, we're done. Now this clock runs, chimes, I have the pendulum, I have the key. It's probably dated in late 20s, early 30s. Oak frame, lovely condition on it, guys. Real nice big clock. I have the um, pendulum and the key for winding. Let's draw an old it up for you. Now this clock, Stands me in at fifteen pound. It's a German clock, and it is beautiful. Now, what do I see that pulling? Uh, I'm going to be putting ninety-five on it. See what offers I get in the shop. But I'm going to be asking ninety-five, and they're going to hear it chime in uh, all the way. You want to say hello? Come on, German. I haven't forgotten it. You say hello. Then. Hello. Do you want to show one? John here is going to show you his little um, gift from his great granny. It's a little um, Cornish pottery cat. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah? You going to keep that safe? It's sitting on the shelf. Okay. Don't so, put it on the shelf. Okay, darling, I wouldn't. They all come home yesterday with um, little keepsakes from their uh, great gran. So there's a little cat there for John, and he's going to treasure that. Shannon had a beautiful vase, I'm not sure what Daniel Daniel had. had. Fox. Daniel had a fox. So, okay, guys, um, that's about it for this video. As you can see, some absolutely spectacular pieces. Certainly a good sixty-five pounds spent. I would spend £65 a day, every day in my life, if I'm going to have returns like this. And not just returns. This careful, is my favorite. careful. Tom and Jerry, yeah, they chip easy, they do, darling. Mm. All right. Jock Tom's got the TNT. And they go Jerry, with that's, ah, that's what I meant. Jerry got the TNT. Cool, or what? So, there we go, guys. He should have cheese in his hand. <laughs> um, interesting video, hopefully. Uh, a really, you know, a little look at some really nice little pieces, collectibles. Um, I've bought a load of cabinets to fill the shop up, and I'm going to display my pieces in the cabinets. Um, I think it'll just look so much profession more professional than just having some tables and putting a stock on tables and looking like I do at the car boot sale, I want it to look, well, the only way I can say it is, um, I used to rent cabinets up in Bath, and they had this four-story building, and you'd walk in, and it would be wall-to-wall, -wall, the finest display cabinets you could see, and everybody rented one unit, and you'd have like four or five shelves and they'd be touching each other wall to wall all you could see was these beautiful display units with light in and everybody's fine antiques displayed and I'm doing a much tinier version but along the same principle so yeah it's all good hopefully you've enjoyed seeing the video guys if you have I would really appreciate a like and a share feel free to comment below if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and there's a little bell for notifications. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page on the group. Don't tell them where it is. Antiques Arena, guys. 
You can find me on eBay, run a search by seller, Antiques Arena Clearance. And I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or, if you live local, in another nine days you can come find me in Mountain Ash Town Centre. Of course you can come. Bye for now guys. Comment your favourite below. There you go, you heard it straight from uh, John Mayer. Comment your favourite piece below. Okay, Paul. My favourite. Bye for now, guys. Bye. Alright, good luck.